Father Nicole. You've come to this important day because you've come to grasp how deep is the love that you share for each other. In a chance meeting, you discovered someone in whom you found love and joy, but also friendship, and shared passions, and common values. There are ways in which the two of you are similar, and then there are also ways in which the two of you are different. And those of you who know you best <laughs> know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But you have worked to understand those things and come to understand how you can complement each other and that you are stronger as a couple than you could be by yourself. So that one person's strength can balance the other person's weakness and vice versa. In relationships, we can complement another person, but none of us is able to complete another person. Mm -hmm. That is not why we unite with someone else. What we can do is to be their companion on that journey to understand the meaning of life and then to live that life most fully. When you marry someone, there can be a temptation to think that you can change certain aspects of the other person <laughs> after the wedding. <laughs> this is not uncommon, right? <laughs> Yet wisdom teaches us that you cannot expect the other person to conform to your image of them. That doesn't mean people don't change or shouldn't change. All of us need to change. You just can't expect that they will change. You can take them for who they are today, not who you think they should become tomorrow. Tyler, you have said that you are a better person because of Nicole. And Nicole, you have said that you are a better person because of Tyler. And I think you're on the right track. <laughs> In this case, no one forces someone else to change. But you want to change because in the relationship with the other, you have caught a glimpse of a better you, of a truer you. As that happens, you will, of course, change. But that change comes not because of expectation, but because of inspiration. And you become more fully and completely yourselves. And when that happens, that is truly one of the greatest blessings of marriage. I invite you now to turn and face each other and to repeat your vows and bind yourselves to one another. <laughs> I love you more than anything, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'll be your constant friend, your faithful companion, and your strongest advocate. I promise to grow with you, face life, life's challenges with you, and to build a life together in your church and your truth. I will delight in your laughter, uphold you when you need strength, and encourage you. Fearless enough to communicate with you. 
I promise you my love, my sword, and my support today, tomorrow, and forever. All that I am, all the seasons of life, I want you to be by my side. <laughs> Place the ring on the cold finger and repeat these words after me. Nicole, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. Nicole, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. With all that I am and all that I have. as you place the ring on Tyler's finger, repeat these words after me. Tyler, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. Tyler, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. and Tyler, I charge you now to honor the deep places of your souls. Search together for what is good and beautiful. Be for each other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, and a comfort in sorrow. And may your love give light and hope to the hidden corners of your hearts. May your mutual joy create a home where no one is a stranger. And may your commitment to each other deepen profoundly through all the seasons of life. Now, by the power invested in me by the state of, the, of Washington, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 